Hi friends, welcome back to Tutorial Days and in this video you are learning how to create RESTful API using PHP and MySQL. In the first video, you, uh, you just learned how to create database, how to uh, create a page and how to make connection and after that uh, we uh, wrote some code for view.php. We tested it through browser and also we tested it through uh, 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 you know, a postman. So in both the cases, it was successful. Okay. Now uh, we are going to in this video uh, see that how we can insert the data into my SQL database through uh, Postman and not through PHP my admin. So first we will create insert.php and then we will test it through Postman. So now let's start uh, the code. So now let's open once again this browser, this uh, sublime text, and now write code for insert.php, create the file, and name it as insert.php. Okay. Now, once again, this part will be same here, this section. Just let's copy and paste here. Okay. The rest of the things will be different here so here first we will once again make connection uh, we will include this DB connections and call the function since we are going to use post method of posting the data so first we will check here if the user is or the request is hitting as post or not if uh, the request is not as post in that case once again it will so error and so this message and exit if everything is fine in that case we will include here the same like before here we will make connection first create object and then through that object we will call this function and finally this dollar connection now here whatever data will be posted through postman first it will scrap the data as input this is the php function file gets a contents okay and then it will be a uh, will json decode this because the data will be written as json encode means json format okay so in short we can say the data which will be posted from postman will be in json format and that json format will be converted into array so in data now it will contain the array of whatever user is posting from postman or the front end applications like angular or react so now we will check here if data the first name is blank or last name is blank or email is blank in that case it will show please enter compulsory fields like first name last name and email and it will exit so user will be shown this message if there is no compulsory field uh, uh, you know inserted else we will also check if the user has made blank entry here if the data is in empty that means there is no any data at all Okay, so in this case, we are checking all the fields are filled or not. So if any one of the fields are not filled, in that case, this will show. In this case, it is showing if the fields are empty, any one of these are empty, in that case, it will show this message. So we are doing all or we are putting our own effort so that there will be no error in this uh, API. In here now try we will take from array one by one and store here in different variables respective variables and then we will write query for insert what this one insert into students guys I'm just copying pasting some code because you know to save the time you know unnecessarily uh, uh, you know wasting the time in just typing all this thing it it's not uh, you know worth it 
but I will explain you that why certain things I have written so so don't worry at all okay as you can see let's start from here as I explained you that the data is coming as JSON format and we are decoding it that means we are converting into array first in here what it is doing it is checking if the field or field there the user has compulsory field have uh, uh, you know em enter or not here it is checking if the field is empty or not and now after everything we are sanitizing here is similar special character in the tree there is no space and junk character after that we are storing here and this is very simple uh, query you can understand this very well uh, you know if you know PDO and then here uh, we are just uh, uh, passing here alias you know? this uh, using this method uh, you know there is less chance of SQL injection that is why we are using this PDO method and here with this alias we will bind the data okay we will one by one bind the data here you can see first name last name email password gender hobbies all the strings so that is why we have written here from str if everything goes fine in that case it will execute and it will return response code 201 it will say data has been successfully inserted or else it will show there is problem there is spelling mistake problem in data inserting and here we will write here finally the catch if there is error in that case it will show you error that what server error is there once again let's start from we have already explained two times here and here we are storing the data into variable here we are uh, creating the template and uh, then we are binding all these value here after this it is executing if everything is fine the date it will show you message that has been successfully inserted or else there will be error if there is any server error in that case it will show you this message so that's it in this insert code there is not much in this now we will test it through postman so now let's go to postman and sorry this one and then I will write here insert dot php and then this same data in json format okay let's pass this data into json format not actually here from here to there let's go to body section and then paste here okay id we don't need id because we have set auto increment so id will take automatically and here just i will put cream sorry let's make everything keep everything same json format so two three things you have to keep in mind first you click on this body and then row and then json okay and then this one okay one thing i'm leave, leaving here as it is get so what will happen if i press send here okay you will see uh, no 404 no data point i insert okay you can see if uh, the url is not found in that case you can show 404 just put g here and then send it will say uh, there is some okay there is something wrong in line number 25 okay line number 25 so we need to go to the code and check what's wrong in line number 25 here something wrong okay the first mistake i can see is there is no semicolon here now let's go to here again and press this okay so what you are the message you are getting bad request only post method is allowed you can see we are passing here get method that is why that is why it is showing this so now you might have understood that why we had written here if user mistakenly is passing some wrong method in that case this message will show okay so user must pass post method only because apart from post 
you pass any other it will show you the same error but as soon as you select here post method and then send it will say data successfully inserted so if you want to check if really the data got inserted or not let's go to php my admin and click on browser and here you can see the third row got inserted that means our insert uh, functionality is working perfectly through this testing so guys i don't think that there's uh, there is any problem in understanding you this code and successfully as you can see uh, you have created this insert uh, uh, json rest ap restful api you can use and modify this and you can use in any your real time application okay so that's it in this video and in the next video we will see delete and update so thanks for watching